I have no natural balance or anything. I had to have people holding me on either side of the horse and someone leading the horse around. Um, and just, just stuck with it really and sort of eventually got my own balance. And um, once I could sort of ride uh, with just a leader, I joined an able-bodied riding school. So I was trying to keep up with the, the able-bodied normal, whatever the, the correct terminology is. Um, and I think that's what pushed me really, because obviously I wanted to be as good as, as them. So I was, you know, trying hard and having extra lessons and it just really took off from there. And then I started competing uh, for the RDA, the Riding for the Disabled Association. Um, and just loved it and just fell in love with the sport really, you know, I'd always loved horses and then it became, it became a sport. I don't know, it's a really tough question, I don't know what is it about horses. Um, I think they, they just know, I think, you know, it's a special relationship um, and it's quite a nice feeling to go into an arena, um, you know, with, with your partner there, you know, because, you know, you sat on top of the horse that you've trained with for however many years, you've spent hours and hours together. Um, and I think, what is it about us? I think it's just the relationship that you have that makes, makes it quite a special sport. I really wanted a sleeve, um, but I wasn't allowed till I moved out of home, so I moved out of home and booked myself a sleeve. Um, <clears throat> and I wanted something that means something. I mean, you, you see all these TV shows uh, where all these tattoos mean so much to so people, and I'm thinking, you know, I don't just, I don't just want a random piece of art on my body. I do want something that means a lot to me, so um, after Beijing uh, I decided that I wanted some kind of horse tattoo on my arm and um, what I've actually had done, I've had a portrait of the, um, that's my, my, med my weather winning horse from Beijing. It's actually a Pegasus, because um, I love wings in tattoos, so I told him that I wanted a, a Pegasus um, and the wings sort of come up and all over my arm at the back. Um, and he, he showed it me and I loved it and then there was a few other things that we wanted to incorporate into it as well. Um, on my last sitting, the day before I had my last sitting, I had to have a horse put to sleep. Um, and it was actually the horse that, um, that broke my back. And um, that was the last time I rode him. So it sounds a little bit morbid, but I had a, a horse's skull there for him. So there's quite a lot of, of, of different pieces to the tattoo. And I've got my quote underneath my arm as well. Definitely get into it. If, if, um, if there's anyone out there with, with a child who's just been di diagnosed of a, a disability, any disability, or if there's, if there's a young adult out there who decides, actually, you know, I think I can give that a go. You've seen it on the telly, you've seen one of us guys doing it, dribbling around, fighting around, doing 20 metre circles. If, if that's something that you fancy doing, get involved. My little bit of advice is don't let uh, any, any little niggles stop you from doing something you want to do. You know, money will have a way of sorting itself out, and so will things, you know, things always work out. <laughs>